This is Mike from TabariaPost.com. In this Photoshop Tips session, I'm going to show you how to use the Motion Blur filter to give your comic page just a little bit of dynamic energy. In a previous video, I showed you how to separate your black line work from your white background so they can act independently. Because filters are applied directly to layers, it's a good idea to make a copy of the layer you're going to put the filter on just in case. To do this, right click on the layer and hit duplicate layer you can rename it if you want I'm just gonna leave it here hit OK and now you have two copies of the same layer go ahead and turn the copy off select the original layer and I'm looking at this page and up here this panel up here with all this motion going on looks like a great place to add a motion blur filter. First thing I want to do is select the area, kind of mask out an area to, to get the filter applied to. So I'm going to use my rectangular marquee and kind of just select a big portion of the area on this page, in this panel. And then to kind of maneuver my way through here, I think I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool hit add to selection and you can add to what you've already selected so I'm going to just kind of pick around and anything that would kind of be moving will get this filter applied to it so I'm just going to kind of weave my way through the water splashing and the rocks falling and I can double click to close add to selection and just get this little bit up here and then the last thing I want to do is I, I actually don't want this word balloon here as part of the selection, so I'm going to hit the polygonal lasso tool again, subtract from selection this time, and just click around this word balloon so it, the filter doesn't get applied to it. Just do this quickly. You can be very precise with this, you know, if you're taking your time. Okay, so this area has been deselected, and looking at this panel now, most of this half of this panel has been uh, selected for the filter. So to apply the filter, go up to Filter, and go down to Blur, and let's select uh, Motion Blur. And then you'll get this little box here, which shows you, uh, you can select your angle of the blur and you can see it's previewing it over here and you can kind of just try out and see what looks good and then you can choose the distance when this will be how blurry it is right here and you can just try the slider and just see what looks good in the background you don't want it too much because then you won't be able to see the detail but you can you can try what looks best and you know I find a lower number is is relatively good to still see the detail but it still looks like it's moving and a combination of the right angle and uh, and the right distance it will give a really nice effect and I'll just move this over so we can actually see what the blur looks like and once you you kinda get it to where you like it you can just hit OK and select the marquee and hit deselect and zooming out now it looks like there's a little bit of motion going on here. It looks blurry, fuzzy. And again, you can try out the different settings to see what looks best. Well, thank you for watching this comic book Photoshop tutorial. For information on my ebook, How to Create and Publish Your Own Comic Book, for information on Spectre Comics, or more Photoshop comic book video tips, visit tabariaoutpost.com.